Hi, it's me, your granny. Once upon a time, in a vibrant jungle, a community of dwarves thrived. Known for their unity and camaraderie, they lived in a harmony, sharing their tasks and working together. Each morning, they would gather to cut wood and collect grains, ensuring. No dwarf ever felt alone or burdened. One sunny day, the dwarves decided to venture into nearby fields to collect wheat. They marched in a neat row. Their little feet pattering softly on the ground and excitement bubbling among them. Remember, said Brim, the bravest of the dwarves as they neared the fields. We get here quickly and leave before anyone sees us. Right, right, Pip Chimed, always the most excitable. But look, Bran, at how golden the grains are. We'll be done in no time. As the dwarves busily collected grains, stuffing their tiny sacks, a disaster struck. Mr. David, the owner of the field, spotted them from afar. Hey, what's going on here? Mr. David bellowed, storming towards the dwarves. His voice was booming and the ground seemed to shake under his heavy footsteps. The dwarves scattered in all directions. Some trying to run, others freezing in place. You little thieves, you think you can just take my grain and run? He scooped out several droves in one motion, trapping them in his large hands. Caught you red handed. You are coming with me. Oh no! The youngest leader shouted. What do we do now, Bran? Run! Run! screamed Bran as he darted towards the trees with a few others. The unfortunate ones left behind were scooped up and thrown into a makeshift cage near Mr. David's cottage. Stay in there, you pests. Mr. David grumbled as he locked the cage. I'll deal with you in the morning. You will learn not to mess with my fields again. 
back to the jungle. The dwarves who had escaped were panting from the run. Bram, Pip, and a few others gathered quickly to discuss a rescue. We have to do something, Pip said. His eyes wide with worry. We can't just leave them there. Bram nodded, determination in his voice. We won't, but we need a plan. They are locked up tight in a cage, Tilly added. One of the dwarves who had escaped. And the key is with Mr. David. I saw it in his pocket before we ran. Aha! That's it. We sneak in, get the key, and free them. Are you crazy? Nisa interrupted. Mr. David is a giant compared to us. What if he wakes up? Bram put a hand on Nisa's shoulder. We can do this together. If we don't, our friends will be stuck there forever. Let's go at night. When he's asleep, as the moon rose, the dwarves snuck out of the jungle and approached Mr. David's cottage. The captured dwarves sat inside the cage, their faces lighting up as they saw their rescuers. You came. Clutching the bars, Gilda whispered. Of course we did. We are here to get you out. The keys in Mr. David's pocket. Tilly pointed towards the open window of the cottage, where Mr. David snored loudly. We need someone, small and quick. Ben, I think you can do it. Ip nodded confidently. Thou, his heart was racing. With a boost from Bram, Pip climbed and tiptoed across the floor. He could hear Mr. David's heavy breathing. Each snore rumbling like thunder. Pip reached the bed and saw the key dangling from the pocket. Easy now. Just grab it and go. Easy now. Pip muttered to himself. He reached out, his tiny fingers brushing the cold metal of the key. But just as he grabbed it, Mr. David shifted in his sleep, 
mumbling something. Be froze. The other drawers held their breath outside the window. to himself got it be pissed holding the key up the dwarves cheered silently as they quickly unlocked the cage one by one the captured dwarves crept out hugging their rescuers Gilda said with the tears of relief in her eyes. We never leave anyone behind. Bram said with a smile. Now let's go out of here before Mr. David speaks. Suddenly, a loud groan echoed from the cottage. What's that noise? Mr. David stood again. Groggy but not yet fully awake. Where's, where's my key? Run! Pip whispered urgently. The dwarves moving swiftly and quietly disappeared back into the jungle. Just as Mr. David's sleepy eyes blinked open. Will, what do? Mr. David stumbled to his feet, noticing the open cage and the missing dwarves. Those little thieves, they tricked me. He rushed outside, but it was too late. The dwarves were already deep in the jungle, far from his reach. Clever little rascals. Next time they won't be so lucky. As the dwarves reached the safety of their village, they wrapped it in quiet celebration. Yeah! That was incredible! I have never been so scared in my life. But you did it. Bram replied, clapping him on the back. You were brave, Pip. We all were. Tonight, Glida said, her eyes sparkling. Tonight, we showed that no matter how big the challenge, we can face it together. Exactly, Bram added. Together we can overcome anything. From that day forward, the bond among the dwarves grew even stronger and their unity became their greatest strength. They continued to walk side by side, knowing that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would always have each other's backs. especially when faced with the likes of Mr. David. Dear viewers, if you like my stories, stay connected with me by like, share and subscribe to my channel.
and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you